Yo, what is going on, you guys? It's your boy, Coach Shop. We are back with another video, and today we're going to talk the Indianapolis Colts versus the Miami Dolphins. This is going to be a game. Uh, it should be an easy game for the Indianapolis Colts, but being a Colts fan, we all know nothing is easy being a Colts fan. So going into this game, this game is pretty much in favor of the Colts. If you're looking at sports bettings or anything of that nature, it's in their favor to win this game. Uh, the Miami Dolphins are on, you know, on the wrong side of football right now, still trying to figure it out, you know, with the injuries and everything trying to go. They're just not in the right place as what they were suspecting to be. But this could be the deciding factor of turning their season around if they go in and actually decide to play football against an Indianapolis Colts team that isn't perfect right now, that's also facing injuries, and their defense is lackluster as well, performance-wise. So, Looking at this team for the Indianapolis Colts, the offense is 50-50. I would say that because you have moments when they shine and you have moments when they collapse as well. Um, being as though Joe Flacco is playing out of his mind as a backup quarterback, um, playing very well, so you got to give his credit with due. Uh, Joe Flacco has been playing some good football. Last week he almost had 40 pass attempts, which is insane. I think he ended with like 38 wind up throwing a touchdown floater pass to Michael Pittman Jr. Game ceiling interception with Julian Blackman. You know, Mo Ali Cox is starting to come along very well. Michael Pittman Jr. is dealing with injury. He scored a touchdown. Josh Downs looked very good. And A.D. Mitchell is still trying to figure it out. The run game with no Jonathan Taylor looked very polished. It showed potential what it can be if Jonathan Taylor played. Um, but Tyler Goodson had a really good run game last week. He didn't get in the end zone. But if you watch them play, you would be like, he had himself a good game. So all of these things going up against the Miami Dolphins defense, who I think could pretty much stop the run. Um, that, that'll be their, their strong suit will probably be pass coverage if I had to choose. Um, but if they're going up against the Indianapolis Colts, I think it'll be the polar opposite. Um, it is what it is at the end of the day. Shane Steichen has to draw up a good game plan. Now, when I'm saying this, Anthony Richardson has a chance to play. Anthony Richardson playing boosts the offensive scheme up a thousand. And why do I say that? It's because Joe Flacco is a pocket quarterback. So it kind of limits the explosiveness that you're used to seeing, especially with his arm strength. His arm strength is, is what it used to be. So it's kind of missing a few things. You've seen that last week when Joe Flacco tried to hit Alec Pierce um, on one of those bombs down the field, and he just overthrew him. So his arm strength isn't what it used to be. But that's when Anthony Richardson comes into play. He has the arm to throw it. Now, am I saying Anthony Rich Joe Flacco is better than Anthony Richardson, that quarterback? I would say, as of right now, the better quarterback is Joe Flacco. But for arm strength and you know, explosive plays, that's been Anthony Richardson's AO the whole time, this whole season. The only thing is, Anthony Richardson has to stay on the field. So, you know, from reports, I'm pretty sure we're going to hear on Friday. And if he plays, I'll, I'll come back with another video. But Per reports right now, Anthony Richardson is looking to go out there and play against the Miami Dolphins. Now, of course, he missed the Jacksonville game, but, you know, going up against the Dolphins, first game back, I think this is a good start for him to come back and start to figure out, you know, get the groove under him. He could have played last week, but the team decided to sit him, which was, you know, a crazy idea for a guy that you need to develop to figure it out. I mean, players are going to get hurt, especially quarterbacks. It's a contact sport. Um, if you're trying to build Anthony Richardson to be your franchise quarterback, you got to let him play football. It's that simple. So, you know, to each his own. His first game back against the Dolphins, it'll be a good game. It's a good test. Um, honestly, you figure out what his offense is with them. If Michael Pittman Jr. is out, um, that's kind of going to limit the offense because they desperately need MPJ out there. They really do. Uh, but if Jonathan Taylor's back, I mean, to each his own. We need all the playmates, we, all the playmakers we can get. So getting John to Taylor back with Anthony Richardson just boosts the offense back to where it usually is. Of course, missing Ed, Michael Pittman Jr. If he's not playing, it's a huge role, a, a huge piece missing on the offense. But you got a guy like Ashton Doolin still who you can replace in his role. I think Ashton Doolin's a good replacement. And, you know, you still got your gadget guys and you still got the tight end department. Um, 
and Alec Pierce. Alec Pierce can have himself a big day if Anthony Richardson is playing only because he is the king of explosive pay, explosive plays. I know there's a few passes last week when it was like, man, if Anthony Richardson was here, this would just be on the money. And I will say that for the uh, RPO scheme as well. The option screen, the option scheme, RPOs, screen plays are all Anthony Richardson. Dink and dunks, getting the targets open across the middle of the field, that's Joe Flacco. So I definitely think the offense, explosive plays, big plays, uh, will definitely come back with Richardson being out there on the field, and especially with Jonathan Taylor as well, because you got to guard Jonathan Taylor. He's still one of the best football, uh, one of the best running backs in football if he's playing. So the offense has potential to go out there and have a, a very good day. Now, the matter of the fact is the Colts defense. The Colts defense is going up against one of the worst offenses, I think, ranked in the NFL. The Miami Dolphins, they have one of the worst ranked with Tyreek Hill and, and things of that nature. But, you know, they got backup quarterbacks out there. Huntley and Sky Moore, I believe, is out there for, for the quarterback position. No Tua, um, he's still out, you know, dealing with his injuries. Uh, Prayers for him to get better. But, you know, with the backup quarterback, you would think that the pressure would be turned up a notch for this coach's defense. And that's what I'm going to be looking forward, looking forward to seeing because backup quarterback or not, this is still one of the fastest teams out there on paper. The Dolphins have one of the fastest rosters. So you can't let this QB get any time to go out there and make some magic happen. We got to put pressure on it. We got to put them on it easily. Now, the last three games for the Colts, the pressure has not all been there. Besides the Jaguars game, even last week, there was times where, you know, uh, Will Levis should have been in the grass, but he just wasn't. The pressure is still missing the Forrest Buckner and is showing. Now, of course, this week, I think this week, we might get a lot to showing. We might get a showing from a lot to this week, honestly. Um, of course, I'm banging the anvil. You might say that every week. Like, yeah, we know, we know a lot to this, a lot to that. But I think a lot to might have a coming out party this week against the Miami Dolphins. And that's going to be great. I'm going to bang the buck to say A.D. Mitchell is going to be my sleeper for this game as well for the Colts offense. Uh, I think he got held back a lot uh, last week due to the, the all of the penalties that the Titans was just given up. They had so many penalties. Got last week, I think it was like 13 or 14, maybe 12. But they had a lot of penalties last week. So I think A.D. Mitchell, if he, get, if he gets a chance to actually touch the football, um, close to the end zone, I think he's going to score. So I'm going to give A.D. Mitchell his flowers this week. I think he's going to score. Um, and for the defense, it's going to be Latu. Shout out to Samuel Walmack. It's going to be a big week for the secondary this week, man. Julian Blackman can't drop no picks this week. Um, Samuel Walmack, he's been balling out. He's got a big test this week. Kenny Moore's got a big test this week. And even, you know, uh, our young bull, the guy that, you know, had himself a nice – Fresh start at the beginning of the year. He's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna have a big test this week. So all the secondary is gonna have a huge test. Jalen Jones, man, um, he's very, very handsy. You know, very gutsy as a corner. So he's gonna have a huge test. These guys got to step up, and this is where our linebacker group comes in and actually, you know, takes position and um, let these guys know that they're here. Last week, the the defense had a down week. I'm expecting them to have a bounce back week this week. The linebackers got to step up and, you know, take command and take charge. And, you know, the, the put pressure on on the offense for the Miami Dolphins. If they put pressure on them, it's going to be a good day. That's all that matters because our secondary is nothing without that defensive pressure. We got to put pressure on the Miami Dolphins. This, chance, this The game is in our hands to win. Last week, the Titans let us win. They did not want to win last week. So this week, Miami Dolphins. They got to put pressure on the QB. They put pressure. We'll have ourselves a good week. That's all that matters at the end of the day. But you guys let me know your thoughts in the comment section about the Colts defense and the Colts offense, who you think is going to pop out and show uh, on the offense and defense for the Colts. And even if you're a Dolphins fan, let me know your thoughts in the comment section as well. This is Culture Shock. Until next time, I'll see you.